Gopalpur Port through international bidding was awarded to a consortium in the year 2006. Shapuji Palanji took stake as a majority stakeholder in April 2017 and thereafter the port was developed. Afghans, the leaders in marine projects, were given the responsibility to rehabilitate the 1.76 km damaged south breakwater and extend it by 450 m, refurbish the existing berth and extend it by 75 m, and construct two new multipurpose berths along with four approach trussels. In addition to this, a 380-meter intermediate breakwater was also to be constructed in a total time frame of two years. When we first came to the site in 2017, we were horrified to see the damage the previous cyclones had caused to the main breakwater. We were immediately alerted and we knew we had an extremely tricky job on our hands. The breakwater was the only protection for existing port and other expansion plans. But even we didn't have it easy. There was suffering waiting for us too. Gopalpur port is located on the east coast of India, which is very susceptible to the cyclonic storms which occur every year during the month of October and November. Despite all this, Afghans did their job pretty well and completed the berth construction well in time and all three berths were handed to the port. Months after, AFCONS started marine operations. Two massive cyclones hit the Indian East Coast that left widespread devastation and damaged the breakwater. It was a huge setback for the project team. Redoing the breakwater meant losing the time and delaying the project completion date. But we accepted the challenge. A highly motivated AFCONS team geared up to repair the damaged breakwater while another team focused mainly on the berth expansion works. A total of 10,837 acropods were required for the south breakwater. They were produced in the casting yard at the site in just 11 months. There was a requirement of 33.49 lakh metric tons of rock for both breakwaters. The rocks were procured from GPL approved quarries. Between February 2018 and February 2019, the intermediate breakwater was completed along with two new multipurpose berths. We kept our eyes on the weather and made sure we left nothing to chance. We used an elevated platform for marine dumping, a split upper bar and an echoscope sonar for laying acropods underwater. All this helped us to expedite our work. The breakwater construction at Gopalpur was extremely challenging due to unpredictable weather patterns over the Bay of Bengal. The waves have a scouring effect, which is a great risk to the lives of divers. The laying of acropods under very low visibility water was therefore dangerous. To overcome this challenge, AFCONS used the advanced Echoscope sonar technology, which was being used for the first time in India for underwater placement of acropod units. The Echoscope is the world's highest definition real time 3D imaging sonar equipped with GPS and motion sensors. It provides accurate position and imaging through its highly efficient CMS software. We were able to achieve very precise positional accuracy while placing the acropods. And the technology proved time-saving. Similarly, substantial time could be saved in constructing the south breakwater by using a split hopper barge. 
The split hopper barge is mainly used for marine dumping with location accuracy through the GPS system. At a time, around 750 tons of rock material can be dumped at the desired location. The marine vessel was used to dump approximately 3,000 tons of rock on an average per day for five months. In October 2019, Gopalpur port joined the League of Select Indian Ports capable of handling Cape Size vessels. The port received a vessel carrying 1,5,000 metric tons of limestone. At present, Gopalpur port handles cargo with three berths. Afghans takes pride in delivering two new berths on time. Despite multiple design changes and devastating cyclones, in past one year. The on-time delivery along with the tranquil basin thanks to a robust breakwater has hugely benefited Gopalpur port. In the last two years during the phase of construction the port has faced three cyclonic storms. Upon completion of three berths the port is now capable to handle up to 20 million tons per annum, which has greatly enhanced its handling capacity. And by construction of breakwater, which was rehabilitation and construction, which was 1700 meters only at the time of FCONS taking over the work, and now it is almost close to 2100 meters. The tranquility in the basin has been increased tremendously and we have been able to handle vessels of cape size of up to about 105,000 dead weight and vessels up to 14.5 meters. The Afghans team maintained an impeccable safety record and achieved over 7 million safe man-hours without any lost time incident. Afcons, which is among the top 10 marine contractors in the world, has once again proved why it is a partner of choice for any marine project globally. The organization is known for its daredevilry globally, and Afghanians thrive in such challenges. With us in Afcons, it's always extreme engineering and construction. <laughs>